wisdom walking with that man. But I'm sitting down. It's been a beautiful day here. Yeah? And I'm in a pub. So, God knows who may come along. However, I want to talk to you about two people. Uh, two ladies. One from Belgium and one from the UK. The first one is Esther Perel. I came across her on the internet through TED, TED Talks. Wow, what a woman. What a woman. She's a psychologist and she's into relationships and a thing called erotic intelligence and other stuff. And that's the bit that stood out for me. And it starts off, she gave, she gave a quote and it was, uh, I'm going to read it. Um, we used to marry until death us do part. And now we marry until love dies. So look out for her and uh, erotic intelligence, Esther Perel, fabulous lady. Now I want to talk about Mary Berry from the UK, she's a cook, TV host, she was on the Great British Bake Off, full of wonderful people, cooking wonderful things. But she was on an interview, and I've spoken about this before, she, every afternoon at four o'clock, she saves that time for a slice of cake with her husband. And it's her moment and it shows the love she has for her so in this interview they baked a cake and they sliced it all up and they offered her a piece she said oh no that's four o'clock it's my husband and that's when I have a slice of cake I don't know about anything about her but I can only imagine that's probably a place where love is less likely to die than to die so I'm thinking what time do we have for love for being love ourselves so i made a list um trying to explore it and writing this writing the other and then the other thing i just wrote down what do i love i've done this before completely forgot but down all the things i love chocolate cream eggs obviously um then i was family friends you know my dog harvey hats and all this kind of stuff and i went through went through went through and i went oh you donkey you're not on the list. I think that's where we need to start. You know, if we can help love not die, maybe we need to explore a bit more of love. In a relationship, I've heard that in the first six months of any relationship, people tend to be at their best. And that's, you know, if they're auditioning for a role, they just show this is the best version of me. But then it's like, well, what happens after six months? Do people just stop trying to be the best, the best version of themselves? Stop being yourself, being good. But why do people do this? People do run out of maybe energy, maybe direction, maybe focus. don't know what it is, but sometimes we run out of love. So fall back in love with our partners why don't we look at them more how about we flirt with our partners more and notice things that others notice so um, to fall back in love when was the last time you learned something about your partner something new and exciting and wonderful you know um Maybe, um, have you noticed, are they good with cats or not? Um, what are they like with their friends? What are they like with their jokes, the story of jokes telling? What are they like with cats or animals? How do other people look at them? Why do their friends like them? What do they laugh at? What's his or her favourite smell? What's their most wonderful memory? What's their, the loveliest film? And what's that moment in the film... You can see they've almost got goosebumps. I don't know, so let's see where we go with this. But maybe um, today, take some time and say that you saw something beautiful in somebody. Only take a few seconds to say it, but it could last a long, long time. And of course, say something beautiful that you see in yourself. Because others do. Hammer out.